Hello guys, welcome to the 11th episode of Technormal and today we are going to talk about NVIDIA's latest GPU, NVIDIA Volta. So without wasting any time, let's start. As is NVIDIA's own the new GPU architecture is taking its name from a famous historical scientist Alexander Volta which gave his name to the Volt, having been a pioneer of electrical energy and its storage. He was also the discoverer of Budcast. Fun little science fact for you guys. The existence of the Volta design was first unveiled at least in theoretical form at NVIDIA's Graphics Technology Conference way back in 2013. It was originally meant to be the GPU silicon which followed directly on from the Maxwell architecture which made up the GTX 900 series of graphic cards. But a year later, up, to, up pops the Pascal design used in the most recent 10 series G4, GeForce parts pushing the prospective Volta chips further back. So guys, it took a 4 or 3 years to develop NVIDIA Volta. So I think it will be a great graphic card when it is released. So without wasting any time, let's move ahead to the release date of this card. This is probably the most important question of all about the upcoming NVIDIA Volta architecture. When is it going to be launched? NVIDIA themselves have been relatively tight-lipped about the whole thing, apart from appearing on off-changing GPU roadmaps, but we are starting to see more wider mentions of the technology, whether implicit or specific. Early 2018 is still probably the most realistic release date for the consumer version of the Volta GPU. But that doesn't mean we won't see Volta based silicon this year. So let's talk about specs now, which is one of the most, most major things of a graphic card. There have been many figures thrown around as to just what transistor lithography NVIDIA will be jamming into their next gen Volta graphics cards. With the latest being a return to the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC for the manufacturing of 12nm Volta GPUs, having previously dealt with Samsung for their 14nm GP107 silicon. Originally, Volta was supposed to be built using TSMC's new 10nm process, but the pace of the transistor for shrinkage has become rather laggardly. Originally, laggardly in recent years. Other humors had Nvidia sticking th with TSMC's existing 16nm tech in order to be able to stick to the roadmap and get actual Volta cards on the shelves in 2018. It's now looking like something between the two. TSMC's 10nm process, unlike Intel's Canon Lake design, is expected to be more of a stopgap measure between their current process and the most mythical 7nm lithography. To put that into perspective, 7nm is about the height of 3 TOM cruisers standing on each other's shoulders. But getting down to 10nm seems to be a more of a challenge than maybe even they expected. I am guessing either the price is prohibitive or the yields too low to offset the performance benefits of a newer design or a combination of both. TSMC have though announced another stop gap measure which they are calling 12nm. It's apparently based on their existing 16nm design but with density, performance and energy efficiency improvements. Whether this 12nm node will genuinely be packed with 12nm transistors or whether it's just going to be clever marketing is about as clear as thermal paste. So now let's move ahead to the price. Obviously, we don't know how NVIDIA are going to price their new cards. Much of that will probably come down to their relative performance compared with AMD's high-end Vega parts, but we can still make some educated guesses based on NVIDIA passing. There was a through or worrisome section with the MyDrivers.com piece about a rumored accelerated release for Volta. In it, they suggest the GeForce 20 series of product will see replanning of the prices and market positions, which will increase the price of single card to enhance profits. My understanding of Chinese is pretty woeful. Read non-existent. Uh, so I'm relying on Mr. Google Robot's comprehension, but 
if true and the prices of single cards be are being adjusted upwards that would be the second generation in a row where nvidia have pushed prices skywards with the 10 series pascal based cards the gtx 1080 was released a 10 unpredicted level especially when talking the pre- reference founders edition shenengas into account now let's talk about performance well all of you have seen difference to the gv100 volta gpu and nvidia's graphic drivers meaning there must be testing going on right now there haven't been any intriguing or and or a, approachable benchmarks leaking out to wet our appetites that's probably down to a mixture of an intense secrecy on the part of nvidia's engineering and testing terms and the fact the gv100 is going to be tested on applications which are likely bear little relevance to any of the performance benchmarks we might recognize obviously we are expecting increasing gaming performance from volta and i have already spoken about the necessity for it to be a better deal with low level apis of vulcan and directx12 but we should also expect some improved efficiency born both of the slightly shrunken gpu production as well as the redesigned architecture itself So guys this was uh my today's video and in my next video I'm going to compare AMD RX Vega with Nvidia Volta uh with Nvidia Volta well you know that Nvidia Volta specs aren't leaked but I will compare it with the with the two of the information I had so guys thanks for watching this video and if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel because I do lots of stuff like this here so thanks for watching Thank you.